Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am so excited to present to you the Drop Dead RDA. Uh, now this is in a collaboration project with Hellvape. Uh, they kind of took the best of both worlds from the Drop and the Dead Rabbit, uh, which were two very, very popular uh, RDAs from the last year, and they put them together to kind of make this masterpiece, as I'm going to call it. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is the packaging. Nice Drop Dead logo with the Drop and then the Dead Rabbit there. It's going to explain a little bit about it. The contents of the box. Scratch authenticity code. A little bit of information. Here they put the color that we got. And then Hellvape. Yeah, guys, let's get into this. So inside the box, you are going to get a user manual, a cool little sticker, your Drop Dead RDA. Down in this lower compartment, you are going to have a box full of tools you will need to actually work on your RDA and set it up. A gold squonk pin, extra seals and o-ring, a clear 810 drip tip. Show you what that looks like. Doesn't look too bad. I like the one that comes with it, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Now this is a 24 millimeter RDA right here, and you can see right there it says Drop Dead Hell Vape right there, serial number. You can see that 510 gold plated pin is interchangeable with the squonk pin. I really like the design. It's a very, very nice blue. I uh, love the little logo right there with the drop dead, even though that D is backwards. You kind of get the idea with the dead rabbit. Uh, the airflow right here is very much like the drop, except it just doesn't have the, the T down. So you can close off, as you can see right there, one set at a time, and it does change on the other side to match. They changed out their drip tips this 810 drip tip right here i really really like uh let's see if i can pull this out it doesn't have any seals on it but it does have a very very large seal down in the in the top cap so this will be compatible with your other 810 drip tips now this is resin and then they've got this little sliver of uh stainless steel right here that says Hell Vape. Honestly, that's literally just, it's a gimmick. Uh, it's just there for looks. Now, needless to say, I do love the look, but it is just for looks. It, it doesn't have a uh, any purpose. And for some of you, that's going to be a con because you don't want to put this drip tip on something else that doesn't have a cooperation with Hell Vape. But for some of you, you might not care about that too much. But I wanted to point that out. All of these cons and pros are going to be subjective. So other than that, the design hasn't really changed that much uh, other than the airflow. You see this little piece here, that little marker right there? That is just for looks until you actually get inside. Let's pull off this top cap. So... It does have a very, very good set of O-rings. This is very actually hard to turn. Um, you can put a little bit of E-juice on there to make it a little easier, but it will loosen up as you go. Uh, you can see it does have this downward design that the dead rabbit had to push the airflow towards your coils, which is very nice. I really like that dome shape. See the inside of the drip cup? Very nice cylindrical. Let's get this bottom out. So you can see right here, they have these, as you can see right here, they have these very large uh, cutout spots right there. They align with these right here, which if you were to compare it to like, this is the Snow Wolf right here. 
whenever you get inside of the snow wolf, it has that little itty bitty mark and then it aligns up perfectly. So whenever it's on there, you can't really move it very much. I love this design because you have this entire because you have this entire space right here to move along that little pin. So you can actually adjust your airflow here to be closed off with however much you want, but also be able to adjust this to bring your airflow around to hit better with your actual coils. Double O-rings there, stainless steel, very beautiful. It does have the drop style where you dr just drop your coils down in there cut from the inside it does have the dead rabbit style top post very beautiful but uh yeah guys let's take a minute and uh set this up build it and uh we'll get it started hello everybody and welcome back to the channel i took a few days to test out this uh drop dead rda here um i really wanted to just take a step back and and give it a, a true world test before coming back and giving my thoughts up uh, up close. So I have a build in here, if you can see, it's just two traditional Clapton style coils. And uh, I've been using this for about, it's been about three or four days now. Uh, I'm vaping Pineapple Express from Vaptasia. I just wanted to be able to give a honest review of what I thought after using it in real world conditions. So with that, let's jump back into this video. We are testing out the drop, the drop dead RDA today. Uh, <clears throat> it's reading 0.37 resistance. We're doing 4.7 to get this at 60 watts. The flavor is, is exceptional on this RDA. So something that they changed from the drop to the drop dead is the airflow, which you can see right there is just a slit, like one straight line of those holes that you can close off one at a time. I'm using it completely wide open. And I believe that I like the restrictiveness on this, the airflow on this better than I do on the drop. The drop just has too much airflow. Um, I find myself cutting most of the airflow off on the drop, but it's very, very nice on this drop dead. Okay, the flavor coming off of this Drop Dead RDA, I would compare it closer to the Dead Rabbit flavor than the Drop flavor. Now, both of them have really good flavor, but I would have to say this is more along the lines of the Rabbit, uh, especially with, if you can see how high the coils are. They sit so high up. Whenever you are building this, I would advise you to put the coils in right along the top edge of the airflow right there. Um, something that's dangerous with this is you're building it so high, you don't want to actually touch this top cup because then you're going to short out and it's, it's not going to be a good day. It's going to get really hot. Um, something that I love that was a nice little touch was on the actual 810 drip tip. Right there, there's a little metal band there. It says Hell Vape. Um, now, with that, that does make that tip warm up a little more than just... Having that metal ring there does make it warm up a little bit more than you would your normal drip tip. Made of resin or Delrin or anything like that. This does warm up quite a bit more. Um, that's something you do have another thing that you have to watch out with on this is 
this is a warmer vape uh, because the coils are so much closer to you whenever you're inhaling that is going to make it a warmer vape but that's also why you're getting such good flavor um, it really makes a difference having it that high up cons and i don't have many um if if you look at whenever you are building this i, I didn't record me building it i wanted to step away and use it but whenever you're going to actually cut once you put it in there, you tighten it down, you need to cut your actual leads coming down. It's on the, the inside, so it's a little harder to get your snips in there to cut the excess off from your coil. I wish that it was on the outside, more like the dead rabbit, but they went the, with the drop style because it's so easy. You just drop them in and poof, you're done. Subjective con. Um, and this is going to be with all RDAs. Um, if you're using an RDA, you're going to go through a lot more liquid than you're used to if you're used to using a tank. Unless you're using like a pro version tank, they run through liquid really, really quickly. An RDA is the same. You're Because you're dripping every time, it or every few puffs you're dripping, it is going to run through liquid a whole lot faster than just your traditional tank. So now we do have this at 60 right now. That's where I've seen to have found where I like it. We're going to kick it up to 70 and see what we get from that. The airflow is wide open. Now, moving up in those wattages, because those coils are so close to your mouth, it does make a very warm vape. Now with that, I have to say, there has been tanks like this Falcon here, or uh, let's see, this Mesh Pro, where I've tried e-liquids in them and I did not like them at all. I didn't like the flavor or the nicotine that was in the e-juice that I was using was a little too strong for me. Um, but in this, I've liked every flavor that I've tried with it and I'm up to about 10 flavors with this RDA and I've liked every single one of them even flavors that I don't really uh, move out and test out very often like gourmand flavors I don't try those very often because I'm not a big fan of them but I actually liked the few that I tried in this and I was very very surprised but um so who is this RDA gonna be for um if you're a fan of the dead rabbit or the drop and you already have them there's no reason to upgrade to this one. If you're thinking it's going to be just exponentially better, it's it's very, very good. But if you already have a drop or you already have a dead rabbit, I would say just stick with what you got because they're, they're great RDAs. If you don't have an RDA or you're looking for a new RDA, I would push you in the direction of this drop dead. It is the best of both worlds. You're getting the best of the drop and you're getting the best of the dead rabbit with a very, very few cons. Um, you're going to be able to pick this up for about $32, I believe is what I'm seeing it go for online. Um, some websites have it for more, around $40, but $32 is about the lowest that I found. I'll have some links down below where you can pick it up from places that I actually order from. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the Drop Dead RDA. Uh, it's fantastic, and I love it. I put it to the test this past week, and I think that I'm going to stick with it. It's finally an RDA that I believe I'm going to stick with. Yeah, guys, with this build, I see no reason to go above 70 or below 60, so... I'm going to kick it back down to 60, hit it a few times, because that seems to be my sweet spot with it. My fan's on, so vapor's going everywhere. It's not staying in one spot, so you're not getting to see really truly are the clouds that's coming off of this RDA because my, my air conditioning's on, but... But yeah, guys, if you have a drop dead, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it or some other things that you would like for me to review. Leave it down there. I'll get it here and I will order it. I promise.
promise you, I'll do a review on it soon. Uh, videos on this channel come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm trying to stay consistent. Last week was kind of a odd week. I had a lot of things going on. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to jump off of here. I have to go record a podcast and stuff. So uh, yeah, think about liking, commenting, and subscribing if you had any fun during this video. Or think about checking out my other channel. It's just Tanner Watson where I do camera tutorials and Lightroom tutorials and stuff like that. Haven't posted there very often other than the podcast, but uh, got some special stuff coming for that channel. But check it out. Thanks, guys, for coming along.